Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. And this week I wanna talk about early extension, which is something that a lot of people struggle with. I get questions about this all the time. So in this video, I'm gonna actually show you guys one thing that you can change in your setup position and some feels that you can apply in your backswing and downswing that you may not have heard before um, that will really help you get rid of this motion. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you are visiting my channel for the first time, please subscribe to see more golf related content. Okay, so just as a review for those of you who are maybe watching this for the first time, um, the definition of early extension is basically when a player gets to their backswing and then when they transition down into the downswing, they actually get their hips to go forward and their chest to kind of move back. So they're actually making this kind of motion um, in the downswing of it too early. So the goal here is not to get rid of it, but the term says early extension. So we, do, we want the extension to happen, but we want it to happen later. Okay, so the move would kind of look like this, right? And what this does is, is a lot of people come down steep, okay? Meaning that the club and the hands move outside in front of the body. That early extension is kind of an attempt to shallow up the shaft or to get the club head to drop behind the hands. That way the club can come into the ball in somewhat of a reasonable direction. So what you're going to have to understand about early extension is when that happens, that's basically your body, your pelvis, and your, your weight actually moving more in towards the golf ball, right? So everything kind of looks like this, right? So if everything is moving towards the golf ball, then we have to encourage things to do the opposite to where the, everything kind of feels like it moves more away from the golf ball. Okay, so you'll see that when good players come down, you'll see that they're almost like their pelvis kind of moves backward as they turn. And when they go through the impact, you'll see that their body still stays on a tilt, their hips stay back, kind of their weights kind of more on their heels. So everything that we have to do or everything that you, you have to feel if you are this type of person that early extends is everything moving away from the ball in the downswing. So the first mistake that a lot, a lot of people make actually that encourages early extension to happen occurs in the setup, believe it or not. So when a player sets up to the ball, they usually kind of, they kind of look like this, okay? So they have a lot of weight in their heels, and you can see the, the line of my butt here is like well beyond my heels, okay? And they're actually creating a lot of space between their hands and their body, but too much, okay? So they're actually starting with their, head, their, their body and weight further away from the, ball, from the ball than where it should be, okay? So when they make their backswing, then everything kind of moves in towards the golf ball, right? So the adjustment that you're going to have to make is to ensure that when you make that, uh, when you set up the ball, your hips are actually tucked more forward. Okay. So you can see the line of my butt is maybe, you know, uh, just a, a little bit beyond my heels. Okay. So if I, if I were to draw a line kind of where my butt is at the start here with, with the people that make the mistake, you can see that my butt line is well beyond the heels. Then when I make the adjustment, right, you can see that my, Weight is a little bit more towards the balls of my feet. My hips are tucked more under me. The line of my, my butt is kind of closer to the heels, but still maybe just a bit beyond the heels there, okay? Now, number, the other thing is the lower back, okay? So you don't actually want to stick your butt out and then arch your lower back, okay? Because again, if you arch it, you're gonna do a lot of other things in the backswing, like limit your mobility, things like that. But again, you're gonna encourage everything to kind of come forward like this. Okay, so when you tuck your hips forward, you're gonna feel as though your lower back is a bit more curved, okay, um, or, or make it more flat, okay? Your upper back is gonna be slightly curved, that's also fine, all right? But a lot of the times the players, when they move their pelvis more forward, their weight more towards the balls of the feet, they're gonna feel like their hands are very close to them. But if you were to get in that setup position and just let your arms hang down, that's kind of where you wanna hold it, okay, right in here. So now, you're, when you're in this position, it now becomes much easier to feel out what you have to feel in order to get rid of the early extension. It'll feel easier to move your hips backward away from the golf ball. It'll feel easier to actually move your weight more towards the heels, which should happen in the fall through. So again, on the screen, you can see when I do it incorrectly that my hips and everything start further away from the golf ball so that when I come down, everything feels more comfortable to move more towards the golf ball versus when I do it correctly, and rehearse things. Since I'm starting closer to the golf ball in a more correct position, it'll be easier for me to feel out or I'll have more range of motion for me, me to feel as though my hips and things like that can move further away from the golf ball uh, and my weight can actually move more into my heels. 
So besides setup, the second thing to be conscious of is just where your weight is across your feet, kind of what I mean by that is by heels and versus toes, okay? Kind of backwards and forwards. So the player that sets up incorrectly with their hips really far away from the golf ball, again, when they make the backswing, they actually tend to move, again, more forward during the backswing. They actually move more like this, okay? So you can see that the weight kind of moves more into the toes. So when a player moves their weight more to the toes in the backswing, again, it makes it really difficult for them to move everything backwards enough or more into their heels. Okay, so that's why it's very physically difficult for them to do that versus when a player gets their hips more under them, a bit, a bit closer to the golf ball at the start. When a player doesn't really extend, what you'll, what you'll notice is that the weight doesn't really move um, more towards the toes. If, if anything, it'll actually move more into the heels, okay? See, so that way, from the very beginning of the backswing, the hips are already starting to move further away from that golf ball, all right? So that's a, another good thing to think about is even in the backswing, you wanna feel as though your hips are moving away from the golf ball and your weight is moving more into the heels of the, of the trail foot instead of more into the toes and your head kind of moving forward. So that feeling of your weight being more in your heels during the backswing and even in the follow through or, and downswing is a great way to kind of have a sense of where your, your body's moving forward and backwards because you're not always gonna have a visual unless you're rehearsing it with a mirror or something like that. But again, if you can always focus on setting up closer to the golf ball and then in the backswing feeling like your weight moves into your heels, hips move further away from the golf ball or the belt buckle moving further away from the ball, and then in the downswing, feel, feeling as though it moves further away from the golf ball, weight is on the heel on the lead foot, then that's a great way to kind of feel out what you're gonna to need to feel in order for you to get rid of everything moving more towards that golf ball. So there's one uh, pretty fun drill that I wanna show you guys that will actually give you a feeling or encourage things to move further away from the ball as you're striking it. So I have the ball on the ground. You're just going to set up your club in front of it. Okay. And you're going to make that, make sure your hips are kind of under you, just like I was talking about. Now, when you go to hit this golf ball, what you're going to do is you're going to first start with your trail foot kind of staggered a bit behind your right foot. Okay. So in this position, you're going to make your backswing and then on the way down, you're going to actually pull your left foot back towards your right foot. Okay. So it'll kind of look like this. You're going to start with a staggered stance. Club is out in front of the golf ball at the, at the dress. You make a backswing, step back, and then you're going to hit the golf ball. So that motion is actually going to encourage everything to kind of move back away from the golf ball when you're striking it. So that's a good way to kind of get a good sense of, everything moving away from the backswing in, um, in, the, in the takeaway and everything moving back again in the follow through. Okay, so again, start ahead, hips are tucked under me, start with my feet a bit staggered. Okay, I make a backswing, my weight goes into my heels, I step back and then I hit. Okay, so everything is moving away from the ball. So that, that's a really fun drill to help you guys um, encourage what you need to encourage in order for you to get rid of that early extension. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Now, if you have any questions about anything that I've talked about, you can leave a comment down below. Be sure to follow me on my Instagram at Jonathan K. Moss. If you want to inquire about my online lessons, I will also leave a link to my website in the description box below as well. And this is another video I made on early extension, and it may give you a few more points and a few extra drills that will also help you.